DSLV XL has done its job as usual. It is a very precise trajectory and uh, it has been taken around the Earth orbit. From here, the, uh, the correct direction and orientation for firing the Apogee motors will be decided and then later the commands will be issued for operating the thrusters on board the spacecraft for commencing its journey to the Lagranian point. Lagranian point is the uh, location where the Earth's gravitational field and the Sun's gravitational field more or less cancel each other and with minimum energy we will be able to position the spacecraft there. In addition, of course, it provides an opportunity for continuous observation of the Sun and uh, communication with the planet Earth. So that way it is going to be a permanent observatory in space and uh, it's going to take almost about 150 days before it reaches that spot. And this journey, journey is going to be really a hard one. We had to keep a close watch as to the trajectory of the spacecraft, give mid-course corrections as and when needed, and finally arrive there at the Lagranian point. After reaching there, the instruments will be switched on and making observation of the sun as well as the ambience around the Lagranian point. The study of the sun is very, very important because it provides the entire energy which is required for sustenance of life and the existence of planet Earth itself. So that way understanding the various phenomena which is taking place on the solar surface and its corona and uh, the type of uh, the fusion reaction which takes place there, the solar storm, the magnetic storms, the particle emission, all this becomes very important parameters. It is very important especially in understanding the space weather where the satellites and others survive. Uh, quite often these satellites are affected by the radiation from the sun, especially the particle radiation and uh, advance warning signal uh, we will be able to get from this location. In addition, of course, the, uh, the variation in the energy emitted from the sun and its coupling on the earth is a very important parameter as well as the weather and the climate uh, studies of the planet earth is concerned. So it's a good beginning. Let's hope that uh, this, this mission also will be a 100% success as the Chandrayaan 3.